you remember the four steps of the Andalusian cadence, right? But actually, we don't need all the four steps to make it sound flamenco. So let's have a look to the short Andalusian cadence, the short stairway to flamenco. Hi, this is Guillermo Guillén for Flamenco Maps. Welcome to my channel. Whether you dance flamenco, you sing flamenco, you play guitar, you play palmas, you play cajon, or you just love it and you want to understand how it works, today we'll continue to talk about the basic elements of the musical flamenco language. Last time we talked about the full Andalusian cadence that is a four steps, a four chords progression. While it is often found in this complete form, four, we also said that a cadence is minimum two chords. In the flamenco mode we can apply this minimalistic cadence and keep only two chords, but not just any, right? Because if we keep only the steps four and three, there is no uh, real resolution here. And if we keep only the steps three and two, it's the same story. We don't have this tension resolution. Something is missing. It's fundamental to keep our first chord because it is our stability, it is our home. And when we step out from home, we don't need to go till the fourth step to be out. We just go till the second step, it's enough. And here we have the tension and its resolution. And we don't need anything else. So when we play basic compass in any palo based on the flamenco mode, on the Andalusian cadence, it's enough to use the steps two and one. Sometimes we do two, one, and sometimes we do one, two, one, but it's enough. And I think it's even more common to play basic compass only with these two chords, actually, instead of the full cadence. For tango, we play like this. Two, one. For bulería, same. For solea. Tiento. Taranto. Fandango de Huelva also. Usually we prefer playing the full cadence, the four mm, chords. But we can find a half cadence also sometimes. Same as the whole cadence, it helps us understand where we are in a cycle. For example, in a compass de tiento, we need two compasses of four beats to complete a full cycle, a full harmonic cycle. We change the chord or we change the step every first beat of the compass. And when we step out from home, it means when we go from step one to step two, it's the beginning of the cycle. One, two, three, four, We should not confuse one compass and one harmonic cycle. This is why there are different ways of counting el compas de tiento, for example, and sometimes confusions and even sometimes contradictions. And we'll need to talk more about that later. The point here is that we don't want to start a letra or a step in the middle of a cycle, right? When we are here. Here we are 
are in the middle and we are just about to close, to conclude. So every time we start something new, a new letra, a new marcaje, a new whatever, we need to wait for the beginning of the harmonic cycle. This short version, this half cadence, is enough to give the flamenco flavor, the flamenco color, right? But we can go a bit further. When we do this, for example, por solea, or this por sigria, or this por taranta, What do we do here? Here we also use the step number two, but in a very discreet way, because it's not a full chord, it's only melodic, it's only a note. This is step number two. Or here. This is step number two. Or here. This is step number two. And back home. And in fact, we can go even further because with one single chord, without moving any finger, we can have the flamenco color. Because in our step one, in the chord step one, in flamenco mode, we already have one note of the step two. It is there. And its natural tendency is to go there. But it's included in the chord and it gives it the flamenco color without doing anything. And listen, this is very different. Like this is a very normal step one with no flamenco color. And this is with the step two included. And this is enough to give this tension so typical of the flamenco mode. It's just one little note, but the difference is very big. And when a guitarist plays compass, he or she just combines all these three possibilities. The whole cadence with different movements between 4, 3, 2, 1. The half cadence, 2, 1 and just the single chord with the step two included. Example for tango. Here I was only playing simple compass with these three possibilities. So when you listen to guitar, try to understand what's happening, in which step we are, what is the movement, what is the direction. It is a great ear training exercise. The more you understand the language of each artist, the more you will be able to communicate with them, to improvise and to play in the sense of playing a game, because it's like that, it's playing a game altogether. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it could help. If you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment and tell me what you want me to talk about in these videos. And don't forget to go and visit flamencomaps.com where I explain my classes, my courses, and my way of teaching flamenco. I see you there. Till then, don't forget, learn flamenco. Make it fun, make it different, make it your own.